<clears throat> yo, 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 what is the deal? What it look like? <laughs> What's going on everybody? It's your boy Quan. I'm here to give you the week two recap in our Fox Sports Fantasy Football League. Leaders of the old school, baby. You already know what it is. So, yo. This is who won. This is who lost. And where we all rank. Alright? Yo. So, check it. In game one, we got the Peach Hill Tigers over the A-Town Jags. 61 to 58. Okay? Next game, we got Top Flight going over the Team Ramum. 78 to 67. Okay. In the third game, we have what do you expect taking out the King Street Wildcats. Okay, 81 to 58. And I'm going to make a little pause right now and apologize that I don't have statistics on the records right now. You know what I mean? So what I'll do is I'll try to do, you know what I'm saying, next week I'll make sure I include it. To let everybody knows, you know what everybody's record is at the time, as well as you know where they're ranked inside the league. Okay, so yo, now I will continue. Those dome records came out. Wreck <laughs> some dome. They didn't care about no fire, no flame. Texas Fire didn't come through this time. They come through with the victory. Dome records 90. Texas Fire 78. And with the game of the week. I mean, this is the game of the week, y'all. Yo, Too Hot for TV went against Rough Riders. And this game went into Monday night. It went into overtime. I'm not even playing because I want to say I was down going into Monday night, but I had Shady McCoy. Oh, I was like, yes, I can do it. But then I look over at Rough Riders. They had the tight end. Was it Zach Ertz? And they had um Panky. You know what I'm saying? Parky, Panky, whatever his name is. Parky, I think. You know, the kicker for the Eagles. So I'm watching the game. It seems like we're both going up. One point this. One point that. 96 to 96. 97, 96. 98, 97. I'm like, will you stop the madness? Zach Ertz getting all those damn throws. I'm like, he don't need no throws. Shady needs some yards. Sproles getting all the yards, I'm getting mad. But anyway, that was that. I come out with the victory by one point, yo. One point when it's all said and done. Too high for TV comes through in the end. In the clutch. 110 to 109. And hey, me and Rough Riders could have went against anybody else in the league and took them out. You know what I mean? But... Hey, we had to do it together, and I'm sorry I had to take it out. <laughs> now, the rankings as of now and where they were last week versus now, we got Top Flight jumping up from fifth place to the number one spot. That's what I'm talking about. You know what I'm saying? Do your thing. Only team that is undefeated, I do know that. Okay? Now, remaining in second place, we got Rough Riders in third place. Dropping from first, we got the A-Town Jags. Now, with a boost up from 8th place to 4th place, it's me. Too high for TV. <laughs> now, dropping one place from 4th to 5th, we got Texas Fire. Jumping up from 7th to 6th place, what'd you expect? Okay, dropping from 7th, oh, I'm sorry, dropping from 6th to 7th place, We've got the Peach Hill Tigers. And dropping from third place all the way to eighth place, the Kings Tree Wildcats. Got to work on that, cuz. Got to work on that. Got to work on that. Now, these two teams swap places. So, jumping up from tenth place to ninth place, we got Dome Records. And from ninth place, dropping down to tenth place, Team Ram. Okay? Yo, it's almost Thursday. Falcons are getting ready to play, so you know it's going to be, you know what I'm saying, some points going to be scored. You know what I mean? There might be a sleeper or two in there. I'm no fantasy football analyst, and I haven't done this in any of my other fantasy football leagues. If anybody hears this, 
I want you to comment on it either in on Facebook, Twitter, inside the league, because I'm gonna I'm gonna say that Anton Smith is gonna be a sleeper Thursday night. He's gonna get 10 plus points because I predict he's gonna score a touchdown and get 40 plus yards. And he can do that on one damn play. I'm predicting he's doing it. Falcons are home. They're going to pull out all the stops, baby. They got to come back from that loss last week. All right? But I'm going to cut it right there. It's your boy, Quan. It's been a pleasure. I will see you all next week. Peace.